So I've been waiting on this package for a long time and it's finally in here. Today we finally got the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. Let's hop into it. I'm about to be on. Been on this mission since I first left home. Pack up my bags like I'm grown. Told myself to show myself to do no wrongs. Like I'm about to be on. Been on this mission since I first left home. Pack up my bags like I'm grown. All right, so first off, I'm just gonna talk about why I decided to pick up this laptop. This is the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. Again, um, I got the 15 inch model. There's a 15 and a 13 inch model. I got the 15 inch because I prefer um, just the screen real estate on it. Um, and I got the spec'd out version in terms of like performance. I got the 12th gen Intel i7 processor with 16 gigs of RAM, um, just for future proofing. I know there's a significant um, performance increase between that eight and 16 gigabytes of RAM. Um, one of the main reasons that I got this is actually because of that 12th gen Intel processor. Um, there's a big, there's a big boost uh, from the 11th to the 12th. Um, and I know I'm gonna be using this heavily with like video editing and intensive tasks like that. So um, might as well get like the more updated processor. And um, another reason why I decided to get this is because I'm really curious to see what the ecosystem will be like between that laptop and this phone. This is the S22 Ultra. This is my first Samsung device ever. So um, I'm just really curious to see like how these two things can sync up and all of the features that I am able to do between my phone and my laptop. I had a really good experience with like what Mac OS did with um, iPad OS because I have an iPad and um, at one point I had a, a MacBook. So um, yeah, really curious to see what Samsung does with their ecosystem. So yeah, I'm not going to hold you any longer. Let's get this unboxed and see what this laptop is like. All right, so the packaging on this is really nice. Um, it's pretty wide box because I have the 15 inch model. So um, there you see just your Galaxy Book branding. I got the silver color and um, you can see the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360 branding at the bottom. Again, I have the 360 model. Um, this is the 360 model because it's a two in one device. So the hinges go like completely uh, 360. So you'll be able to use this as a tablet as well as a laptop. Um, so uh, you get some specs on the bottom, not going to show you that. Um, left side, you get some Samsung branding. Up top, you get some Intel branding. Samsung now has a really close relationship with Intel, so that's definitely why um, they're one of the first laptops to get this uh, 12th gen processor in here. And then um, to the left, you get your Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360 branding. So let's actually open this. I already took the plastic off. so. Let's get to it. Okay, so this is the laptop right here. Um, let me just pull that out for a second. And uh, to the right, it uh, looks like you actually get a charger brick, which is nice. I believe this is a 65 watt charger brick. Have to verify that. Um, and you get a USB-C to USB-C cable as well. Well, that's nice. You do not have to worry about charging like you do with phones these days. Um, and this is probably just like a quick start guide. So yeah, yeah, that's basically it. Um, just a quick start guide, warranty information. And finally, you do get an S Pen with this purchase. Um, I think that's a great, 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 great deal um for them to include the s pen this is like a hundred dollars usually by itself so i really like that uh samsung included an s pen with this computer and now to the laptop so again i have the 15 inch model Let's see how do i get this out okay so it's through the top and this is the silver let's see how it looks yeah that looks really clean to me i really like that so I wanted the maroon, but the wait time on that was just like absolutely crazy. And um, I saw some people were having issues with fingerprints. So I decided to get the um, silver one. And it looks like I am personally not getting fingerprints yet. Usually I can tell because my hand is my hands are like usually like pretty moisturized or oily. So not getting fingerprints on this uh, silver yet. Let's see. Let's open this up. Could definitely open it up with one hand. Okay, looks like you get a little bit of plastic on the um, keyboard as well. 
Oh no, that's just on the power button. So yeah, this is the Galaxy Book Pro 360. Let me get some of this stuff out the way and um, we're just gonna go over the hardware. All right, so again, this is the 15 inch model. Um, you do get a little bit of a bezel on the bottom of this screen. Um, oh, you'll be able to see a better one actually turn the screen on, but um, the uh, keys are, the keys do feel pretty nice. And I love the fact that you get um, a full number keyboard on this 15 inch model. The 13 inch does not have that. So here is the, see how those hinges work. They feel really smooth, no issues, no creaking, no inconsistency with the hinges so far. Now let's go into tablet mode. So yeah, this is how it will look in tablet mode, vertically and horizontally. Seems like it's gonna be a really nice laptop. Um, you do get some fans on the bottom. You do get four stoppers on the bottom as well. Some AKG branding, so these speakers are tuned by AKG, so those speakers should be pretty nice. And you do get um, a Thunderbolt cable on the left and a USB-C cable. And you get a USB-C cable on the other side and a headphone jack. And I think that's a SD card slot, so Pretty versatile selection of ports, not the most, but still um, three USB-C spots should definitely do the job, especially with one of them being a Thunderbolt. So yeah, in terms of weight, this is definitely going to be like one of the lightest laptops that you can get at 15 inches, if not the lightest. I um, really love how this feels in the hand. Um, it's going to be super portable to carry around. Okay, so I'm going to power this up and go through the setup now. All right, guys. So as you can see right now, I am in tablet mode. Uh, I basically just set everything up, put my Microsoft information in, put my fingerprint and everything in. And um, yeah, we're just going to go through like the UI and just my general first impressions of the device as a whole. So um, first off, switching from tablet mode to laptop mode is really easy. All you do is literally just move it to laptop mode and um, when it's flat like this it's still in laptop mode it, it's pretty much it goes by if the um, keyboard is behind the screen as soon as it lifts like behind the screen then you'll see it switch so yeah it made the switch so how I've been distinguishing the switch is you'll see the taskbar change a little bit. You just saw it jump there. So um, yeah, basically again, um, whenever the keyboard is behind the um, actual screen, uh, then it's in tablet mode. And speaking of screen, the screen is absolutely great. I love this screen, very vibrant colors, gets really bright. Um, the only thing I don't like about the screen is this bezel at the bottom. You could actually see it now because um, the screen is actually blue. Then you get your taskbar and below that, uh, this is a bezel. Wish they had like a fuller screen, wish they like cut this bezel in half, but not really a deal breaker in my opinion. So in terms of the keyboard, um, I really like the keyboard a lot. Um, I like how spaced apart everything is, like each key has its own island. So it really feels like a Bluetooth keyboard or something like that in that regard. And then you get a full number pad on the right. The keys, like the key travel and everything feels about average, feels just like how um, my MacBook Air felt. Um, the actual trackpad is um, pretty nice, um, very responsive, no issues with that does what it's supposed to do um i do wish like the whole trackpad was clickable but only the bottom third on the left and right are clickable so yeah that's about it um on the hardware um i haven't tested the speakers or anything yet i'll do that for the full review but i'm gonna go back into tablet mode so we can go over the ui a little bit all right guys, so I'm gonna use the S Pen Stylus just for majority of this video so you guys can just see how responsive it is and see how you can scroll through the UI just using your pen if you want to do that. So um, first things, I'm just gonna go through the apps. I'm just gonna look at all these apps and see if there's any bloatware. Um, I think there's a ton of it. So yeah, Alexa, Amazon, Clip Studio, 
Disney Plus, and I'm Messengers on here. So yeah, you get a lot of bloatware. Um, I have the one terabyte version, so I'm not really like concerned about it right off the bat. I'll probably uh, delete a lot of it later, but um, yeah, just something you should be aware about. There is quite a bit of bloatware. And um, there are a lot of Samsung apps on here as well. Let me go to the S's. You get a lot of Samsung apps, but um, these features could be like really useful, um, especially if you're in the Samsung ecosystem, you have a Samsung phone or tablet. So um, yeah, a ton of Samsung apps on here. Then you get all of your like regular Microsoft uh, Windows and Xbox apps as well. So. You do get a ton of bloatware. That's just something I think you guys should be aware of. Another thing that I want to mention is that I love Windows 11 so far. I just really like how modern um, the UI looks. I feel I feel like they're trying to like move closer to um, like a mobile device type UI, making it look similar to like what you would experience on a tablet or um, a smartphone. And I really like that because of course that's the future. Mobile devices are the future for sure. Um, you do get like a lot of Samsung like exclusive like features and settings as well. Um, we're gonna go over that now. So one of the major reasons that I picked up this Galaxy Book is because of the app integration that it has with um, my S22 Ultra. So uh, right off the bat, they do have like some things at the bottom. Um, some samsung exclusive things like uh quick share so basically this is like the samsung version of airdrop where you're able to set files between your laptop and your phone and vice versa um yeah and then um a lot of these other ones are just like windows things like you could have multiple desktops up and um, that's like your windows widgets uh, microsoft teams and uh, one of the most important apps, especially if you have like a Samsung device on here is this right here. Uh, this is the Galaxy Book Experience. This basically just like shows you what all you can do um, with your Galaxy Book in terms of like integration with other devices. So um, I haven't signed in yet. I'm going to sign in a minute, but um, you can sync like your Samsung notes. You can enable Bixby. Um, you can do a second screen. Um, if you have a Samsung tablet, you can use that as a second screen for this Windows laptop. So that's really interesting. Um, you can transfer data from your old computer. Uh, you could actually do this with any computer as long as you download whatever app Samsung tells you on here. Um, you can make your own um, live wallpapers, uh, quick searches for files, apps, and other stuff. Um, a Samsung file tracker, Samsung Flow, which is another form of file transfer. Um, Samsung Studio Plus, so it looks like you can create um, videos. Maybe it's an editor or something like that. Um, you do have like some Samsung settings here, Samsung gallery app, uh, Samsung screen recorder. I'm really curious to see how that works. Um, link to windows. So this is the phone link app by windows. I just did a video on that. If you haven't uh, checked that out, you can link your, uh, galaxy buds fairly quickly, you have a private share and a quick share option that we just went over. So yeah, pretty much all of the, like the really cool settings are going to be in this galaxy book experience app. Okay, so another interesting thing I found with this laptop is that Samsung has like their own settings on here. They have some really unique settings. It's actually different from what you would find like in your normal Windows settings. Uh, these are just like exclusive Samsung settings. So the first one uh, is just easy Bluetooth connection. So um, a notification will compare your computer whenever your gallery galaxy buds are ready con to connect so it looks like that's um, galaxy bud exclusive um you get your display settings uh, similar to what you see on a smartphone right now i have the vivid amoled um profile and you have a hdr plus option and then um you can set up dark mode um for certain apps you also have a focus mode that will um darken the area uh that where the app is not displayed so i thought that was interesting um you do have some advanced features as well uh this studio mode is like a webcam feature um and then um, you have auto booting where the system starts automatically when the lid is open or uh, while the system is hibernating or shut down um, and then you have a few other uh, quick settings. You could press or hold the uh, settings to rearrange them, or you could check the status of performance mode on the taskbar. And speaking of performance, uh, this is the most interesting setting that I saw in these Samsung settings, the battery and performance. So you could protect your battery. You can enable this to like have your battery cap at 85% because in the long run, that will preserve your battery life. And then you have a USB charging, um, 
setting uh, which supplies power to the chargeable USB port even when the system is in hibernation or shut down. And then uh, the most interesting by far to me uh, is this performance mode right here. I automatically put it at high performance because I don't really like care about battery or anything like that or my fan noise. Um, or you could even enable like no fan at all. So um, yeah, a lot of really cool settings here. And in this uh, Samsung settings section, you can also adjust your keyboard backlight. You could adjust the sensitivity as well as the brightness. So now I'm just going to go over some of the S Pen features that I noticed. Um, so right off the bat at the bottom right corner on this taskbar, you do get a spot for some S Pen uh, shortcuts. So of course you can like just um, use this as basically like a mouse. Um, to navigate through the Windows UI, but um, here are some of the features that it provides. So um, Microsoft, uh, they had like a few that they suggested or Samsung or um, whoever was in charge of this part. Um, so one of them was Microsoft Whiteboard. So let me just write something. And it looks like this is like shareable among others as well. You could add more people to share um, these whiteboards. But um, as you can see, it's like little to no latency. The writing on this feels great. And I really like the size of the pencil um, or pen in general. Um, everything works really good. Um, it does like offer palm rejection. So you can see um, when I'm using my hand, it doesn't do it. But when I'm using the S Pen, works perfectly fine i'm not really sure about press pressure sensitivity but um, that's something i don't really use because i don't really do art um, on tablets or computers so um another one they had was like the snipping tool so let me just do a new one and let me pick a spot uh, i don't think it registered no Okay, so that was a snip right there. And uh, the next one, um, this one is actually really interesting. This one is similar to what you would get if you just like pull out your Ultra and pull out the S Pen, you get these spots. Uh, that's what this is, this is Air Command. So um, this is gonna be a very useful one for those familiar with the Samsung user interface if you have like a Note device or a S22 Ultra. So um, here are all the shortcuts provided, uh, very Samsung-ish. Um, this is gonna be Samsung exclusive. You can view all your notes, you can use Smart Select, Screen Write, Live Message, Pin Up, or Show a Window. And yeah, those are all of the options. And you can add app shortcuts in here as well from the Start menu if you want. Okay, let me X out of all this. Okay, yep, all of that's gone. Um, and then pin up is basically like an artist apps. You can um, adjust like what you want to see here. I manually added air command, everything else was there. And these are the ones that they suggest OneNote Paint, PowerPoint, Sticky Notes, and Word. And then you can just scroll through all of your apps and add whatever you want to that um, to this quick section right here. Um, there are a few settings, uh, not really anything major. Um, you can choose what side you want to write with. A few additional uh, pin settings. And handwriting. Handwriting is great on here. Um, that's one of my favorite features of this. So um, if I don't want to pull a keyboard out, I can just just go to Microsoft Edge. You can see how snappy this device is. Super fast device. Uh, let me just do google.com. And you saw how fast that was. Um, yeah, the handwriting on this hasn't missed yet from what I've used it for. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much all of the um, S Pen features. It does give you like a few quick tips here as well. You can pin up to your pin menu. Um, take a screenshot, we went over that. Choose the hand you write with, we went over that. Uh, change what your pin does, we went over that. And um, enter text, we went over that. So yeah, that's basically um, all of the major features that you can do on your S Pen. I'm not sure of any others, but uh, this will be extremely useful full for like artists or people like that who use styluses a lot okay guys so i think i'm about ready to uh, wrap this video up now um some other things that i wanted to mention i wrote down um before i close this video um the uh s pen is only 
uh, can only connect to one spot. I really wish Samsung added more spots with a magnet, but um, this is the only one, but it's really good. It's really good um, magnet on here. It won't budge at all, but I really wish they would have had something like for the side or something like that, but you can only do it at the very top of the back of your device. And another thing that I noticed um, before I turned on the high performance mode, I did notice the fans uh, going off a lot when um, everything was like updating. I was putting all of my information in and so I was still playing with it. Um, I did notice the fans. Um, they weren't like really loud, but they are noticeable. Um, so yeah, it won't be like a distraction, a microphone or something like that. Probably won't pick it up, but you can like you'll de you can like definitely like sense the fans um, on this device. So if you are not a fan of fans, this may not be um, it for you. Just pick up an Apple device. Um, but yeah, I really love the versatility of this device. Um, super light. It's razor thin. Um, the build quality is really good. I um, really like the color feels really sturdy the hinge is really good um just a really solid device and i'm really curious to see um what the software will be like i really like the hardware but the software is what gets me going i'm really um excited to hop into these um samsung ecosystem type videos um doing some quick share and things like that you guys will definitely see videos like that um in the future so yeah if you have any questions in regards to this device feel free to leave them in the comments and thanks for watching this video